I'm just going to see what's around uh, on the Alinko. I generally just use this on FM now. Um, yeah, 50 watts. FM, um, you know, 50 watts AM. See if anything's coming through stateside. It's that time of year, but... I'm not getting anything, you know. It's pretty, uh, pretty dead. See, some people don't really like stateside, but, uh, you know, I don't mind giving them a little go. Mm, that's just narrow band, it is. That's the, uh, I think that's the Super Bowl channel. Nothing. Onto the, uh, FM UK 40. Not much about. I expect there'll probably be someone on the one nine. Nothing on the other channels. Yeah, there's the one nine. Talking about cars, of course, boys stuff. Oh, there's someone on one six. Back of the box, really. That's a shame. Quite very quiet modulation there. And then back up again. But so yeah, you saw someone on one six, someone on one nine. Hello, hello. Um, just popped up here on the uh, four o'clock net. We've got, I think, uh, Dave and John on at the moment. I think Dave's on his uh, 450 Delta, which is the same as this radio, and it's coming across really, really nice, and uh, they're having a nice little chinwag, waiting for Mr. 318, if he's about, and uh, I'll listen for a little bit, and then I'll come on the side. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a few electric cars around there. I ain't into electric at the moment, so uh, uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Uh, I like the automatic. Uh, it's automatic, but you have to be there, John. Yeah, there's just an automatic. Yeah. But there we go. So, we've got a T-Time check. The dogs are okay. QSK. Yeah, hold on a minute, John. I think we got someone on the side. Was there someone giving us a call? Yeah, good afternoon, gents. I assume that's Dave and John. You have Mr. Fred in the sheds, St Albans. Oh, hello, Fred. Yeah, nice to hear you, mate. Yeah, yeah, I was just, uh, your ears must be burning, because I did give you a call <laughs> there, and I thought, oh, you'd be busy, because it's uh, coming up for Christmas there. Yeah, I'm on the old 450D again there, Fred, so I'm hoping it sounds OK to you, mate. <laughs> Yeah, Roger, Dave. It sounds absolutely fantastic, Dave. Um, I'm doing a little bit of video at the moment, so hopefully you'll be able to uh, hear yourself. I'll put it on the uh, on the Facebook page. But uh, yeah, absolutely uh, fantastic. I can recognise it um, from the bleep because I, I remember speaking to John. And but yeah, coming across on my 450, um, very nice there, uh, Dave. So uh, is that the standard microphone, the standard Yaesu microphone, uh, Dave? Back to you. QSL, yeah, all copied there, Dave. Well, it, it sounds really, really nice. And yeah, that's the same... Um, oh, oh, hi, John, by the way. Sorry to cut in. But uh, yeah, that's the same EQ setting that uh, I've using on my 450. Um, I did a little bit of experimenting with John um, a while ago, and we decided that the number two... And the only difference is that I, I've gone on to the, uh, the cheaper condenser microphone, um, which is a kind of clone of the, uh, the ASU... I think it's the 37. It's the uh, I did a video on the on the comparison, and uh, for me anyway, the the uh, cheaper condenser microphone um, just has a slightly better tone. But uh, no, it's sounding uh, sounding really nice there, uh, Dave. I think you've uh, you've done a good deal there, Dave. Back to you. Yeah, cheers for that, Fred. Yeah, I'll 
have a clout and um, uh, check your uh, uh, your Facebook page there and have a listen, mate. Yeah, that's tucker, that is. Yeah, you've got John out there in Brownfield. I think Tim might be back now. Uh, and you've got Mark in Luton, he's mobile, but I don't know whether you can hear him or not. And uh, uh, I don't know whether uh, Steve is out there at the moment. Let's just stand by a minute and give Steve a call there, see if he's mobile. Yeah, Steve, are you out there, mate? another voice in the background there. Yes, C318, are you out there, mate? Yeah, 318 mobile is here, Dave. If you can hear another voice, if you can bring them in, Dave. Okay, Steve, we're waiting to get into a better position, mate. Nice to hear you there. Uh, you've got Fred, uh, Fred in the shed on. You've got uh, Mark there who was on, who we lost, but I think he's still lurking around. Tim is on the frequency, even though he's doing a bit of cooking. And also got uh, John in Bramfield, Roger. Yeah, Roger, Roger. I've been listening for a few minutes. Dave, I was just sorting my life out, you know, getting my nicotine intake and whatnot, and clearing the windscreen. Yeah, we're waiting to get into a better, uh, wait to get into a better position, Steve, and we'll, uh, you just uh, give us a shout then, uh, mate, and uh, we'll come back to you, Rog. Yeah, Roger, Roger, I should be in a good position for Fred. Fred, how's your Christmas preparations coming along? Oh, good afternoon, Steve. Um, well, I've done absolutely nothing myself, I do admit, but uh, my good lady um, has taken care of all of it, uh, and all the decorations are up, and she's just getting the final bits now for the big day, and uh, I've just been concentrating with work, and that's about it, Steve, so I'm guilty as charged, I'm afraid. I've done, I've done nothing around the house. Back to you, Steve. Yeah, cheers there, Steve. Um, okay, um, I think I was told that Mark, there was Mark out there, mobile. So I'll leave it open for Mark. So yeah, Mark, m mobile, do you copy uh, 1664 Fred in the Shed, QSL? Yeah, Roger, Mark. I've got you, Mark, way in the back of the box. Um, no signal at the moment. Um, really, really sort of quiet, very quiet. But, uh, yeah, I know you're there, buddy, but uh, can't quite hold a conversation uh, with you yet. Back to you. Yeah, uh, Fred says he can hear you, Mark, but he couldn't hold a conversation, mate. He's sorry about that. Not quite making it yet. Yeah, I'm having a bit of a struggle with you at the moment as well. I don't know whether John is. Are you picking up Mark OK, John? Right at the back of the box. Right at the back of the box. I don't know where he is. He must be on the motorway somewhere back to you. Yeah, what about you, uh, Tim? Are you out there, mate? Are you here wigging or are uh, you cooking? I'm here wigging and I'm cooking. And I can hear Mark and I can hear Steve and I can hear Fred. And I can hear John, and I can hear yourself. There you go. Hello, Tim. Very nice, too. Very nice. Yeah, well, uh, you better say good evening to uh, young Fred. <coughs> yeah, hello, Fred. Hello, Steve. 318. Uh, you're Fred 1664. 
draw any. And uh, good evening, John in Ramfield, and yourself, Dave, and Mark, mobile. You, I'm getting bits and bobs here. But yeah, I'm, I'm sort of cooking and um, trying to sort my life out a little bit. I'm out tonight, so uh, I'm just monitoring on the side. Oh, Steve, um, that video you put up, uh, I sound all right, don't I? Thank you very much for that. You sound very nice, Tim. Good afternoon, to, uh, Tim. Uh, just to give a signal report, Tim, you're giving me five by nine. Uh, you're probably the strongest signal uh, out there this afternoon. And uh, I'm doing a bit of video, um, so you'll hear yourself. Your audio is very clear, uh, very spot on. And uh, yeah, it's a shame about Mark. I, I say I can just about make him out in the in the box, but I'm not quite sure if he's going the wrong way up the uh, M1 or, or something. But unfortunately, can't quite. Uh, can't quite get him, but uh, yeah, nice to have a few of you on here actually. I so say, unfortunately, with work and things, I haven't had a chance to uh, get on here. I don't, I don't know when my next opportunity would be, but it's just nice to switch the radio on, you know, and we've got a nice little net going here, everyone putting in nice signals. And uh, I think we owe a lot to that to uh, Steve318, really, for his sort of, you know, perseverance with the Facebook page and uh, coming on here every afternoon. And uh, so, yeah, cheers, Mr318. Um, you know, for me, I'd say a like, big thanks for sort of keeping the faith. And I'll go back to you, Steve, uh, 318. No, I don't believe that at all. No, you're the one that's been the most sort of stable part of the group, Steve. You know, I come, I've had to come and go, and uh, but no, I know it's been through, especially the Facebook page. You know, that was a very good idea of yours, and uh, gives everyone a chance to meet up and uh, get you know get back into this hobby. And I think we're we're getting there now. We're getting a fair few people on, Steve. Back to you. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Yeah, Oh, the CB Europe, CB Europe Facebook page there, uh, Steve. CB Radio Europe, was that? Uh, Roger, yeah, CB Radio Europe, which is a, fa a fantastic page on Facebook there, buddy. You need to check that one out. Yeah, I will do. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a message to the... I'm not discussing any of my business on the radio while we are being videoed. But, yes, <laughs> oh, excellent. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, I'm pleased about that, mate. Yeah, so uh, all the best for tonight, mate. <laughs> yeah, sorry, uh, Steve. Uh, yeah, no problem there. So there you go, look, a great little group on there. So you've got Dave on his uh, 450 Delta. You have John on a 135 Elinko. Um, Tim now, I'm not quite sure what Tim's using, but he's coming across really nice. And then you, uh, we had Mark Mobile, we can't quite get. And then Steve 318, which I think is on a 6900 Superstar. So great, you know, great collection of guys there. It's really, really sort of quite nice. But I better end this video now, unless something really interesting happens, and I'll restart it. And uh, what well, if I don't get a chance to put another video up before Christmas? Because I am really flat out at work. So I just like to say cheers. Thanks, guys, for watching the videos. I hope you have a really, really nice Christmas and uh, a really peaceful New Year. And I'll be back in the New Year. Hopefully, I'll be getting a few more videos up. But uh, I'll get that one in now. But as always. Cheers, thanks for watching and I'll catch you all on the next one.